name is Jürgen Kleinwächter and I want to introduce Olivier Pacou, the main cooperating engineer within our R&D company. We have developed in the last 10 years uh, the unit you see behind us, which is a so-called show box. Now we want to show you through the show box. We want to explain you what are the different elements and especially what can they do to create autonomy in a village surrounding. This is the target we have here. The basic source is the sun. You see behind, on top of the system, two types of collectors. One type is thermal evacuated tube collector, which is providing heat, which is then stored in a storage. The other type of collectors are so-called photovoltaic panels, which are producing directly electricity out of the sun. With these two sources and a little addendum of biogas for very bad weather periods, we can produce around the clock electricity, mechanical work, for example for water pumping. Out of the heat storage we can do it nighttime, therefore I say day and night, and we can, can produce with our Stirling engine, which is a hard piece of it, a low temperature Stirling engine called Sun Pulse, we can also provide cooling, what we will also demonstrate. So we have the basic needs in electricity, mechanical work, cooling for a village, but we can do more because we have stored heat at a high level, 180 to 120 degrees centigrade, we can use the stored heat via special heating platforms to cook day and night without burning any more any wood or other fuel. Okay, so now we have a nearer look to our show box. And first element Olivier points on is the heat storage collector. The function of the heat storage collector is very simple. The vacuum collectors collect during daytime sunlight, transform it to heat, then it is transformed in fluid form and we heat the storage up to a maximum temperature of 180 degrees centigrade. And all the interval between 180 degrees centigrade and 100 degree centigrade is then used for the applications I am speaking as next. Olivier points now to an engine which is the hard piece of our installation. This is a low temperature Stirling engine filled with air and the heat of the storage is provided to this air interiorly via heat exchanger so to start moving the engine and producing for example, electricity. So, now let's first move to, to start the engine. Olivier Pacou will now push the button. we see one of the main and important applications. Uh, the energy delivered by the motor is now transferred to a pump, a hydraulic pump, which is pumping water. In this case we simply show how we create a water jet in a lake, but with the pump we have involved in this Sun Pulse Stirling engine, we can pump beyond 100 meters of depth. It's one of the most important tasks in remote areas in sunny countries. When you heard at the beginning, when Olivier started the engine, you heard the breathing, like a big breathing of air. That means that the engine sucked in ambient air, and the ambient air is our working medium. So we need no fuel, nothing. We need only the solar radiation. We need transform them to eat, we need to transform it stored and then we can day and night only with a very clean solar heat 
and with the air produce energy. But now comes another charm of the sun pulse engine. They need only heat to be driven. So the heat can be provided by a gas burner. The gas burner is getting gas in our little showcase from propane. But this is not at all typical because, as I said, we installed the systems in villages where we have a lot of bio, biologic waste, which is transformed uh, in another development here in the Tamera solar test field, which is transformed through biogas generators in biogas. We can also provide with the same system cooling. Because this engine, when it is driven reversively, that means it's not producing energy out of the sun, and we take the electricity to run this engine in reverse, then it is producing wonderful and in a very clean way, efficient way, cooling out of it. This we demonstrate a part in a second cool box system. Without the inversibly running sun pulse engine becomes a cool pulse engine because it's producing cooling. In this case it is provided with some electric energy from the photovoltaic panels which is multiplied by a factor of about five to produce cool. Meaning each unit of electricity is producing five units of cooling. So what we have done here in the solar kitchen is a hand-built cold box. Uh, inside we have heat exchanger plates and with a cool pulse running during daytime we are cooling down a water glycol fluid which is cooling the plates and consequently inside of the box of this little cold store we can cool everything we want. Solar village, future, cool pulse. Congratulations.